Welcome back to the Wednesday Night Replay 212! Friendly reminder that you can get in on the action every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by looking for the WNR Battle Rama custom game type in MCC. We got a real grudge match for you this week, taking place on a map that's been around for generations of Halo fans to enjoy. Let's take a closer look. Welcome to Old Storage, the combat evolved classic featuring traditional Covenant architecture with a forerunner twist. Let's start in the Sniper's Nook, a split-level sanctuary perfect for sending love from afar. On the ground level, we have the Devil's Elbow with convenient teleport to the second floor and a short, rebound-friendly hallway that eliminates light of sight but not mortal peril. The Rumpus Room features an elegant ramp and cut-through that really opens up the space, sharing a wall with the Vile Violet Violence Veranda, a focal point of the map uniquely suited for hosting and roasting with smooth, murderous mauve accents. It's sure to be a hit with friends and foes alike. But how could cold storage ever be complete without a space to hang your hat? Have no fears, the spacious walk-in coat room exists to keep the rest of the map clutter-free. It's never easy to improve a classic, but the renovation budget has come in and we've made some changes. Let's take a look! Introducing Bold Storage, a modern, refined upgrade featuring Forerunner technology in muted grays and vibrant blues. Let's start off in the corpse storage area, the perfect place to proudly display the mummified remains of your vanquished foes. Just down the hall, the rustic ochre hues beyond the ballistic glass of the cozy scenic gallery present a friendly reminder that even if you win the fight, you can't go outside. Throughout the property, dated chartreuse teleporters have been replaced with celestial azure slip space translocators. The slaughter chamber features a proprietary powder coating that makes cleanup a breeze. The sniper's nook now features an active camouflage module and a majestic simulated skylight. Meanwhile, the Devil's Elbow contains a point of egress to the scenic gallery, while the Rumpus Room enjoys a spacious, traversable cut-through and a personalized AI security monitor for your protection. Now you know the map and it's time to meet the Warriors in this week's Contest of Champions. Three players stepped up to throw down, but only one can wear this week's crown. Up first is Riker, our lucky stick king, coming off an impressive 2-0 record. Followed by Lockpicker, coming off a less impressive 0-2 record. And Skeetsy, the man with a plan. Face off. Riker drops a bubble. Ski charges in. Riker fills him full of needles for the first kill of the match. Moments later, drops Lock with an assassination. He's got the Mauler and the Brute Shot combo now. Ski backs him off with a grenade. Starts throwing off snipes with the beam rifle. Oh! Gets him right in the dome! A no-scope. Beautiful shot from the hip. Starting the match off right and getting the match's first tea bags because it's time to turn up the heat. Riker respawns, tries to get back into the game. Pokes his head out. Not a great idea. Lock pulls him up with needles. Check that out on the slam cam. Bam! Throws him right back against the wall. Sliding over to the ski side of things, Locke's got the fuel rod cannon, Ski doesn't care! Slams him with the hammer, sends him back into the boards like nobody's business. Pow! Riker's tossing some grenades out, trying to get a lucky stick, doesn't work. Moves in with the mauler, takes Lock out, let's check that out on the slam cam. The melee can't save the day. Riker moves up, Lock moves in, pulls the trigger, melee to finish the job, knocks Lock. Back out and down, and Riker takes the lead. Dancing with Ski in the middle. Locke's trying to evade. He's invisible, but not hammer-proof. Gets taken out. Ski getting pushed by Riker, who's coming up with the AR. Tags him with the shoulder grenade. Leaving a sticky grenade there to detonate shortly thereafter. Take a look at this in slow motion. Drops it, walks away, gets some distance, and then boom goes the dynamite. Take a look at that from the overhead cam. Ski sneaking in, drops that grenade on him, gets that distance out to keep himself safe, and then Riker explodes. Back in the Kochak room, Ski's cruising through, Riker's pushing him, he's got the golf club, Ski's got the overshield and the hammer, and yet two ships passing in the night. They don't see each other, and somehow Ski manages to throw a grenade backwards, which is something we very rarely see in this sport. Here we go, check it out. Launches one grenade up and over the bridge, and the second grenade goes behind him at the same time somehow. Interesting. Locke's got 18 kills. Cruising in. He gets the overshield. He's got bubble. 
He's got the fuel rod gun. He pushes up, uses the bubble for protection. Boom! Closes the distance and lays him out. Ski respawns with a hammer of his own and he sends Riker flying. This is definitely our cadaver toss of the week. Look at that distance. Bouncing him right off the wall. The game is almost over, folks. Locke's got 23 kills and a hammer. Spawns up with a hammer. Riker comes in. Whack! Gets knocked right down. Ski panicking, firing needles all over the place. Locke drops bubble. Ski's own plasma grenade takes him out. And that's good enough for the win, folks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Locke is this week's winner. Feel free to join us next time. Until then, keep on bagging and tagging. It's time for this week's Low Life Highlights. Up first, a mongoose splatter on a brand new map, part of our custom Halo 4 map pack that is yet to be unveiled to the general public. Ski standing there minding his own business, gets taken out by the mongoose. No regrets, going fast. Up next is our lazy multi-kill of the week. This was me flying around on dogfight, banging out an overkill. Up next, we have some very touching synchronized tandem flying high on the blast off game type. Great job, blue team. Up next, Riker takes his sticky to go. And finally, Riker tries to sneak around the edge of the map in fly and die, but you really shouldn't do that when the death floor is right beneath you. Bye. And that's all it takes to drop them and stop them. Here's a haunted mongoose getting a little bit too friendly with one of the doors on standoff, possibly possessed by a poltercorp. Finally, a little outtake from the newsroom action, trashing the newsroom because these teletext machines are too hard to use. Who needs them? God, I don't even know. I'm out of here, folks. We'll see you next time.